Uh, shalom, shalom, Yasha Allah, first and foremost. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, Double honors to the elders and apostles, great most on peace and salutation to the scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, 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 to use Aquanium, Wa'akwafim, Wa'akwaf, you know your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole for elect, out there laboring and keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your call and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Pashai Ban Yashallah. This will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, basically going to the hour of temptation. You know, we must remain faithful in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in these trying, perilous times that we're living in. You see? Now, one of the brothers posted um, this article, the link to the article, right, in, in the community section. Right, the brother um GMS dedication, so I can forget the brother name. Right, he posted on this article right here, and I read the title of the article, looked it up, and I'm about to read some of this article right here, get some precepts, and I'll be the lesson, you know. But the time that we in right now, man, it's getting bad, man. You know, so much going on worldwide, it's lockdowns going on over there in um um in Europe, so on and so forth, you know, anti-lockdown protests. And I'm about to read the article right here, man, in Austria, you know. So I'm gonna go into it through the spirit of Pavi, spirit of Pavi Hall by Shimao Shai. And Lord willing, you know, it's gonna be a faith builder to the whole for elect. You know, your brothers out there, your few sisters that believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, may Yahweh Bashim Al Shai protect you, your family, you know. Cause man, we have some man, this time about to get bad, man. You know, the hour of temptation. You see? So the title of this article says, Crack scene martial law is here. You see, crack scene martial law is here. Austria announces total police state lockdown mandatory si uno no weve cracks a nation for entire population you see so austria announcing a total police state lockdown police state is martial law you know mandatory c19 c uno no weve cracks a nation for entire population i mean no if ands or buts about it you see now for the brothers that, that that's over there in europe you know our prayers to those brothers man because the lord gonna be with you and guide you and protect you because we know what's coming, you know, right after this, you know, um, crack scene is what the, the Karagma, Revelation 13 verse 16, where if you don't have that CHIP implanted inside of your, your right hand or your forehead, you will not literally be able to buy or sell. I mean, you will not be, be able to be a part of society. And this is one step to it. You see, so people failing right now, if people failing the test right now, you know, this is a quiz, this is a pop quiz and people failing a pop quiz, you know? So what happens when a major test come? You see, people going miserably fail, man. One, because their foundation is not building, um, building upon a, um, a rock. Which is, who's that rock? Yahweh Shai. So your faith must be sound in these last days. You must believe and have faith in the creator, man. Right? Because what people don't realize is that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is bringing this. He's bringing the martial law. He's bringing these forced cracks and nations, man. These mandatory see on the way they cracks nation for entire population. This is the Heavenly Father's work, man. He works on both sides, the left and the right. He created both sides, man. You see? He's using Esau, his whipping stick, right? The uh the staff is of his indignation. You see that? That's what people feel and realize, man. So if you have faith in who's bringing this, he's gonna deliver you from it. Now, if you give in, he's like, all right, he gave in, man. You know, he's not part of my chosen. So you wanna be part of the elect, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. Right? Let's get to this article though. But before I read it, the article, let's get this preset. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. So you got to keep these words. Who's the word made flesh? Yahweh Shai. So you got to have faith and endure. To, for endurance means what? Suffer. You see, patiently as a soldier. You know, as a believer in Yahweh Shai. Right? So you must endure, you know, um, hardness, man. You see, because we all can go through it. We all can be put into uncomfortable situations. You see what loved ones are giving in, taking it. There can be a lot of betrayals going on. All this is going to happen, man. It's written in the scriptures. You see? So we got to maintain our faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Because a lot of people worrying about, you know, how they're going to be able to um, uh, su uh, sustain themselves in society, you know, with all this going on. You see? And this is just a quiz, you know? So when that major test comes, man, when they bring out the Karagma, which is right after this, because with this right here, it's going to give them lead way to further crash this economy, you know? Because a lot of people are not giving in, they're not trying to take it. You got a lot of people that is taking it. People dropping dead, 
You know, they talking about the sea on the wave surges, you know, cases are rising up. They got to lock down everything again. You see chaos going to, you know, uh, uh, um, erupt with that chaos and come the order, which is right here. The, the martial law, the police state, you see. Then a major event going to pop off, which is going to further collapse the society. And this happening over there in Europe. And it's good to say upwards of the people. Let's get that right quick. You know? So this happened in Europe, but we know it's going to come to America. Babylon the Great. Right? Say the best for last, so to speak. You see, this place got to go. You know? In order for us to win, we need America to lose. <laughs> we need Esau to lose. You know, one of the brothers up there in Rochester, Slock, if you get the brother's name, he made a beautiful point. How like if you if you say you're betting on a basketball game, you know you bet on this team to win. In order for you to you know win your bet, you need the other team to lose. You know you invested in this one team, you need the other team to lose for your investment to play out. You see that we invested in this truth, so we and it's already written you're still gonna lose, and it's already written the elect got the victory. So we know if we continue enduring, our investment gonna play out, man. You see that? So this this is a sure thing we're involved in. You know, so we got to continue on in this thing. Don't worry about what everything going on, man. If they want to martial law, everything, uh, lock things down again, you know, let them do so. You see, because we understand um, righteousness is getting ready to flourish on this earth. You know, we know Yahweh Bashem Shah will be with us in the days of trouble. It's written all throughout the scriptures, man. He will deliver us. We must believe in this. You see, don't, it's, now is not the time to lose hope and lose faith. Now is the time to pray for more hope and more faith and more confidence and more courage and bravery. You know, and strength, you know, and endurance and patience. You see? Second Earth is 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. So that's what we're doing through spirit. When brothers post these different articles, so on and so forth, we're measuring the time diligently, man. Understanding the time that we're in. You know, we know it's not the time for certain things. There's a time and a season. That's in Ecclesiastes third chapter. You know, there's a time and a purpose for everything under the under the sun. There's a time for everything, man. You know, we're not in a time to be um partying and bullshitting. We're in a time to be serious, man. Solemn, mourning, fasting, weeping, begging the Lord for forgiveness, man. Repenting. That's the time we're in right now. You know, returning back to our power. You know, because we sent to America, Babylon, the great to serve out a um uh, a sentence, a captivity sentence, man. You know, it's good to say this is not our rest. We wasn't going to be here forever, you know, and now the Lord get ready to deliver his elect out of his place, which ultimately the Lord about to deliver his entire nation out of his place. The reason I say that is because wicked Israelites going down inside, yeah, they will get burnt up, dying of famine, but they don't get born through the elect, you see? So the heavenly father, he about to deliver his people, starting with the elect, you know, and bring us back to our land, you know, and we're going to live forever and be at rest forever and have our neck, it's like you have our feet on the necks of our enemies. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. You know, have our feet on the next five enemies, man. We're gonna rule them with a rod of iron. So that's what that's what the Lord preparing us for. So when all this is going on worldwide, up wars, you know, all of this, it's all prophecy. And we need it to play out for us to get the victory at the end. Right? So second Earth is nine and verse uh one again. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. Where in the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the Heavenly Father is visiting the world which he made. You see? And you got Isaiah the 29th chapter, and I believe that's verse 6, on how he visits the world, man. Right? It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, when we see that going on right now, man, upwards of the people. You see? And earthquakes worldwide. You can look it up on Google right now. Search up earthquakes 2021, uh, November 23rd. You see, today, and it's going to be like over 100, guaranteed, you know, worldwide earthquakes, whether it's 1.2 magnitude, 3.0, 4.0 magnitude in Japan, you know what I'm saying, in Australia, you see, in different islands. You got the whole thing going on in La Palma and the Canary Islands, you see. I forgot the name of that um, exact volcano, you know, something, Vimbre, something, but it's erupting, you see. And he had to evacuate the, um, the people from the island and so on and so forth. There's a lot going on. I got to look more into that. And I don't know if they're still um, getting evacuated. You see? But that thing is still erupting for a couple months now. So I believe since like September. You know? And they plan on bombing it. <laughs> you know, Issa, we, so we know what you're planning on doing. Bombing it to cause a, a tidal wave. Which will cause a what? But basically, a bomb it caused a landslide. was caused a tidal wave. was caused what? A tsunami. You know? It's going to hit the east coast of the United States of America. You see? 
And now that's another attack that could further collapse this economy, man. You know, on top of that, they throw an EMP attack, you know, shoot a nuclear missile on high altitude, you know, knocking out all the electronics. And this whole society is running for electronics. So if that happens, and this place is done, you know. <clears throat> so it says, then, so this after, you know, the uppers of the people, the earthquakes in diverse places. Then, verse 4, 2nd Edges 9, verse 4. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Most High speak of these things from the days of, that was before us, man. From the beginning. He declared the end from the beginning. This is all the Most High's movie, man. You see? So the, he's bringing this stuff, man. He's bringing the the um the trials, the, tip, the uh, tribulations, you know? <clears throat> so let me go back to this. That's beautiful. Let's read this. Finish this out in Revelation. Let me read the, some of the article, right? So at least 3 verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That's the time that we approach. That's the time we're in right now, man. You see? People getting tempted to take the crack scene, you know, to keep their jobs, to keep their homes, to continue to be able to pay rent. They don't want to go homeless. They want to pay the car notes. They don't want to lose their car. They got to pay insurance. They don't, you know, they got to do all these things. So they, oh man, I got to give in. I got to take it. You know? I got a lot of loved ones that took it, man. You see, and all that I can do is pray I get them back in the kingdom. You see, and, and low willing, you know, they don't take the, you know, but more than likely those that took the, the crack scene, they're going to take the chip. You see, it, is, it just, you know, because they gave in at the pop quiz. They failed at the pop quiz. So what about the major test, man? You know, and we have loved ones, you know, that, that gave in to this beast system. They trust more in the beast than the Al Bashan Al Shai. You see, there's nothing we could do about it. But as you know, pray that the Lord, you know, have, have mercy upon them, man. You see? That's all we could do, right? Because we got to keep, we got to, script say what? In Philippians 2 and 12, work out your own salvation. It says, it says, uh, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which will come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. And you go into the word try, means what? To test one's faith. So the Lord is testing your faith right now, man. He's testing all our faith. So we got to pray for more faith, pray for more strength, you know, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, confidence, man, in our power. In Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Right? Which Yahweh Shai is to be worshipped. We got camps out there that say otherwise. Right? Verse 11. Behold, I am come, behold, I come quickly. Hold thy fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So don't let no one take your crown, man. We already got the victory. We already got the crown. Don't let no one take it. Esau, he wants to take it, man. You see that? Don't let him do so. Let's read this article, right? So it says, um, crack scene. Right? I'm pull it up a little closer. Right, but like right here. So it says, "Crack scene. Martial law is here. Austria announces total police state lockdown. Mandatory C19 on um, cracks in nation for entire population." And this came out on November 23rd, 2021. And it says, "On Friday, Aust Austrian um, Chancellor Alexander Schellenberg announced that his entire nation will be forced into mandatory lockdown. And come February, every citizen of Austria." will be required to get craxinated for the Wuhan uh, C, the Crown Royale Uno Nueve. You, know, you should know what I'm talking about when I say that, man, at, the, at this point. If you don't know what I mean by that at this point, then hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. Right? Because we have to speak like that now. We have to speak in cold, so to speak, because they're taking out the video lessons in our channels. Right? So it says, we have not succeeded in convincing enough people to get craxinated. Look, we have not succeeded in convincing. They want to convince you to put something in your body that's going to destroy your ass, man. You see? It has graphene in it. Oh, they probably go take the video now. You know? Hydro vulgaris. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's going to kill your VMAT2 gene. Oh, snap. You know? These different, these key words, and I said it because yeah, I'm at the point like I don't give a fuck, man. You see? These key words are... um. We'll get our videos taken down for just saying these things, man. You see? But they're going to put the G, you know, the uh, the HV, all that has a side that there's the crack scene, which is going to um, destroy your body, man. It's going to change your DNA, you see? And when they turn up the frequencies in our 5E, you know, the 5 tower, you see? Man, people going to turn to beasts, man. Docile, you see? So they trying to convince you to, to um, basically give in and bow down to the beast. The beast system, that's what it is, man. You see? Right? So we have not succeeded in convincing enough people to take to get craxinated. Scallenberg stated arrogantly, arrogantly, he stated that during a news conference 
it hurts that such measures still have to be taken. You know, no, this is all a part of their plans. This don't hurt them. They, they want this to happen. They want to force the lockdowns. They're going to force more protests and chaos. They're going to force more order, more police states, you know, more riots, uproars, you know. Come February 1st, all Australians who have not yet willingly rolled up their sleeves for the currently available Fauci flu uh, pop, you know, will be forced, right? One more time, we go from top slot here. So it says, see, it's even me just reading this article, man, you got to like, you know, dissect, you know, and say other words instead of what's right here, you know, we're speaking cold, right? And I know I mentioned the, the G, the HV, and lower they don't turn on the video for that, but it's like at this point, it's like, man, you still going, because this, this is not, this not going to last forever, you know, that starting with our elders and apostles on down, pushing this word on the internet. This is not going to last forever. You're still going to take this whole shit down. The only reason why it's still up, because the Lord wanted to still be up, man. You know, we f we're still feeding the sheep. The Holy Spirit is feeding me. And Lord willing, I could feed the, the sheep, man, out there. You know, and I was watching this video, right? So it says, come February 1st, all Australians and Slaki, because you know the prophecy in Amos 8th chapter and verse 11. The famine of hearing the words of the Lord. That's about to come back, come to pass very soon as well. Right? Back to this. It says, Come February first, come February first, all the all Austrians who have not yet willingly rolled up their sleeves for the currently available Fauci flu pop will be forced to do so if they want to continue living anything. <laughs> Yo, these people are demons. I'm gonna read this right. Let me read it one more time, man. These people are devils, man. This is Satan right here, man. You know, saying is working. But you know who, who controls saying? Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You see? So the most side is working on the left hand side, man. So we got, man, we got to fear him and pray, you know, for mercy, man. So it says, come February, February 1st, all Austrians who have not yet willingly rolled up their sleeves for the currently available Fauci flu pop will be forced to do so if they want to continue living anything resembling a normal life. See that? You want to go to the park, walk your dog, you know, take your kids to school, take kids to the park, you know, go to the movies, restaurants, you know, the Broadway theaters. You see, you want to go to um, go to eat, you know, you want to go for a jog in the park. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to do any of these things, you're going to have to roll up your sleeves willingly and take this, you know, this, this pop, man. Take Sleep with Vanessa. You're going to have to sleep with Vanessa if you want to live a normal life, man. You see that? They're coming down what great wrath because they know they got what a short time. Let's read that right quick. Let me go back to the article. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Right? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devils come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And these are classic precepts, man. But we got to still bring them out through the spirit. You know? This devil, he about to come down with great wrath, man. You see? So it says, right? It says, starting, and that says come February 1st. So that's what, in 2022, right? And man, 2022 is going to be a hell of a year, man. See, 2020 was crazy, you know? 2021 started off a little slow, had a little things in the beginning, but then it died down. Everyone went right back to sleep, you know? Then now things are amping up again. You see that? So 2022 gonna just probably be it might just be that year, man. We gonna see. You know, our jobs as prophets, you know, it's a prophet side of things is for to come. And that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Al Shai that he gets all the glorification. Right? Verse, um, not verse, right? Read on down. It says starting on November 22nd, Austria will also be going into a mandatory lockdown, which today is the 23rd. So this started yesterday. And it's another article I want to read very quick. I don't want to make this too long, but it says, starting on November 22nd, Austria will also be going into a mandatory lockdown that will reportedly last up to 20 days. This is meant to be punishment for the holdouts who are refusing to obey the government's recommendation that everyone modify their DNA. Whoa. Time out. Time out. Let me read this again. It says, starting on November 22nd, Austria will also be going into a mandatory lockdown that will reportedly last up to 20 days. This is meant, so this lockdown is meant to be punishment for the holdouts, those that don't want to get down and sleep with the um sleep with Vanessa, right? Who are refusing to obey the government's recommendation that everyone modify their DNA with the M Oh, see, I don't know if I can say that, man. I would just say um M 
you know, the N R, you see, um, oh man, I don't, basically, right, you should know what I mean, man, because I'm not just reading, man, I'm reading the goddamn article, you try to end this video, man, I'm gonna appeal that motherfucker, you know, but it says, it's sliding for the language, right, but it says that everyone modified their DNA with the mRNA injections, you see that, so this is meant to be punishment, so that's also gonna cause what, division, see, that's where the betrayal is gonna come in. Damn, you got us on lockdown, bro, because you don't want to take it. Listen, bro, I'm not going to take it. You better take it. Fighting, you know? Division. War. Going to out over this, man. Civil unrest. You see? That's the time that we're in, man. You know, family turning on each other. Friends. It's good to say that, man. Friends going to turn on each other. Let's get that right quick. Second Urges 6, to verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown. And the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. You know, um, food shortages, you know. And we know that's still going on. You see, the hold up with the cargo ships, you know. It says, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, right? And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Right? So it says friends gonna fight with each other like they're enemies, man. You know? Why? Because you can have some jakes and some people, I'll say that some people taking it, and other people that don't want to take it. You see that? And then they're gonna be like, bro, it's your fault while we getting this lockdown that's happening. Because people like you. You see? So it's about to be all out chaos, man. All out chaos. Right? It says. Under the new measure, non-essential shops will be closed and Aust Austrians, wow, wow, non-essential shops will be closed, right? So we're going to have some essential shops still open. Um, but this reminds me of what happened in 2020 when, he, when they sh shut down a lot of the non-essential shops like uh, clothing stores, you know, so on and so forth, right? But they still had, you know, a lot of essential workers working like hospitals, you know, right? And it says, and Austrians will be asked to work from home, reported the, um, the poached times it says schools will remain open for those who need to go but parents are encouraged to keep their children at home right i don't know if i'm reading all of this matter of fact i might as well nah i might link the rest of this in the description box below but i'm reading some more of this right it's a little more so it says scalenberg proves himself a liar now says people need to be forcibly injected after previously saying the jabs would be optional you see and oh that's their handlers the elites, they say, bro, they say, yo, forget that optional shit. Get straight to it. Forget the weekly code, the C, Uno Nueve testing. You know, force the crack scene on the ass, man. We're running out of time here. <laughs> we want to get an NWO started. So they say, forget that optional stuff. We're going to force them to do it. How are we going to force them? Take away the stuff that make them comfortable. You know, take away their, their life, basically, man. That script say what? Those that seek to save their life, going to lose it. And those that lose their life for your house shy state will find it. So we're losing our life, man. We're going to start losing jobs, homes, loved ones, so on and so forth. But we're going to find everlasting life through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Everyone knows their foundation is not building upon that rock, man. So they're going to give in and they're going to fall short. And grace the fall of these people, man. So it says, last week, Austrian officials announced that the millions of citizens who are not fully vaccinated have to remain in lockdown come November 22nd. Everyone in Austria, including the fully vaccinated, will have to go into lockdown as well. You see, that's going to that's gonna cause problems. So you're telling me, I took the crack scene. This, this is what people going to be saying. I took the crack scene just to still get caught up in this lockdown. I took it so I could live my life, not lose my life. You see that? So that's what you can't trust in this B system, man. It says, these latest moves make Austria the first country in the European Union to impose a full lockdown this winter. Operation what, dog? Winter. We're approaching that time. This may be that time, man. We gotta be on our watch. What do you think will come to America? Babylon the Great. Worse. You see, even worse, man. It says, Scallenberg says both the lockdown and the jab mandate are necessary to avoid the, a fifth wave. Right? It says, we do not want a fifth wave, he said, nor do we want a sixth or a seventh wave. Yeah, okay. Right? It says, previously, this is never gonna end. They're playing with people. This, this right here, this is never gonna end, man. You know? Until Yahweh Shah, you know, come back for his elect. See? It says, but in their mind, you know, it's never, they, they're going to keep doing this. They're they going to keep playing with people. You know, people thinking they're going to take it and go back to normal life. Nah, 
Because now those that don't take it, now they're going to be like, well, because they didn't take it. Now we got to lock everything down, including y'all as well. You know, so it's, then they're going to be like, oh, now you got to take another one because this new, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This new variant came out. Now you got to take a new one. You got to take two, um, two rooster shots, you know. So we here, man. We, it's closed. And it, 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 these are exciting times, man, for us brothers. You know, start with the elders and apostles on down. To you sisters out there, I believe as well. This is an uh, exciting times for us, man. You know? So it says, Previously, Scotland Bird stated that his country's jab compliance rate was shamefully low. Roughly 65% of the country's population is fully vaccinated, which he says is not nearly enough to satisfy his desires. Right? But I'm ending right there with that um, article. I'm going to get like two more precepts. That'll be a lesson, man. But guess what, man? So the hour of temptation is upon us. You see? Slack here. The hour of temptation is upon us, man. And we got to maintain our trust and our faith and our confidence in our power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Because he will do miraculous things for us, man. We have nothing to fear. You know, we actually, we got nothing to worry about. You know, we got to just trust in him. Right? So, from there, we're going to get this one right quick. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we're in the last days. And perilous means what? Dangerous. Dangerous times is here. They're about to get real bad out here, real dangerous very soon. You see? Now I'm gonna end it off with a, um Psalm 34. Right? Psalm 34, because we gotta cry to y'all about your mouth shot, man. You know? Psalms 34 and verse 6. This poor man cried, and the and Yahweh Bashim Al Shah heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You know, so we gotta just cry to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, maintain our trust, and be faithful in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. He ain't gonna deliver us, from, deliver us from all our troubles. You know, we got, we got nothing to worry about, man. You know, so you wicked ass Israelites out there, man, you wicked ass Jakes, you wicked ass so called blacks, Hispanics, Native, Seminole Indians that trust in, his, trust in his beast, you got something to worry about, man. You know, because you, you, one, you refuse to repent. You know, the Heavenly Father got his hand stretched out when he's smacking it, you know? So you got you got lots of fear, man. You're going to get caught up in all this shit, you see? And by caught up, I mean, man, you're going to get caught up. You're going to die in a famine. You're going to die in these contradiction camps. You're going to get tortured. Your loved one's going to get tortured. You're going to watch them die. This is coming to you wicked ass people, man. You know, but those that are seeking repentance, those that are repenting and seeking salvation... You know, daily asking the Lord to have mercy upon them. They keep it a commandment to the best of their, um, their ability. The Lord going to do what? He's going to have mercy upon you, man. And we got to believe this. And he will have mercy upon some of your loved ones if it be his will. You know, like brothers with wives, with brothers with kids. You know what I'm saying? The Lord have mercy upon you, man. You sit out there that's single but got kids. He'll have mercy upon y'all, man. You see that? You got um a lot of younger brothers in this thing. The Lord have mercy upon you. You see? But, man... Hey, when it comes down to like, you know, cousins, you know, nieces, nephews, you know, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, a lot of them not going to make it, man. You know, we got to come to that realization, that reality, you see, because all went into the scriptures. You know, if the Lord wants, he may have mercy upon a few, you know, but hey, we just got to pray that we get them back in the kingdom because they trust too much in the system, man. They trust too much in the beast, you know. But let's read on down, right? I'm going to end it off with this one. So it says, I'm going to jump down to verse 17. It says, uh, 16. No, no, 15. It says, it's like it. 14. Psalm 34 and 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So now it's the time to depart from evil, right? And seek good. You know, depart from these pagan ass holidays. You know, depart from pleasing your wicked ass flesh. You know what I'm saying? Depart from all of that, you know, and seek good, seek righteousness, seek Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You see? And you've got to cut people off to do so. You gotta do it, man. You know, you must do it. Work out your own salvation. Think about your life. Do you wanna die in a famine? Do you wanna to starve to death? You know? Do you wanna to get tortured in these construction camps? You see? You know, do you wanna get burnt up by nuclear missiles? A hundred million degrees. Literally, it's a hundred million degrees. You ever burn yourself cooking? Imagine feeling it all over your body for, well, however long the Lord have you feel it. Your, your body melting, your, your skin melting off your cheekbones. Do you want to feel that type of heat? You know, repent and get right, man. That's all you got to do. And endure. Endure and have faith. 
You see that? So um, depart from evil and seek good. Let's read on down. It says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. For his ears, he's waiting. He wants us to call upon him. His ears are open to our cries. And it says, the face of Yahweh Bashim now shy is against them that do evil. So if you if you all here being wicked as all hell, because we people got no excuse because the prophet's been out here prophesying, letting you know, repent and get right or the Lord will destroy your ass. What are they doing? They still do wickedly. Like a Lord Yahweh Shah said, if I had not, um, if I had not had come unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. You see, that's what the Lord sent forth his prophets. Y'all got no excuse. We told y'all was right, was wrong. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, I was shy. His name, his son's name, your nationality, repent, get right, and you will, the Lord have mercy upon you. They walked by, they laughed at us, they mocked us, they scoffed. They said, I don't got to listen to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to get down with that. Bet. Our hands, the blood is off our hands. But turn to um, Ezekiel, the third chapter. The blood is off our hands, man, at this point. Now, judgment about to roll out, man. Massive, major judgment. You know, y'all gonna get caught up in it if y'all don't get right. You see? So you think all these lockdowns and all this, you know, you, you wanna um, die during a famine. When they lock shit down, there'll be a lot of wars going on, riots and shit. When, I'm talking about that real, because last 2020, yeah, they locked shit down. But when they lock down shit this time, it's gonna be, they're gonna do an attack, man. <laughs> you know, they're gonna set something off. We know it. Right, so get right, man. And it says, The face of Yahweh Bashim al Shah is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. He's going to cut you off, man. Verse 17, The righteous cry, and Yahweh Bashim al Shah heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. You see, so the righteous is the elect. The elect men, women, children that believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shah, he will have mercy upon, he will deliver. You see, his, his ears are open to their cries. But you wicked Israelites out there, man, that's still in this world, man. What's left for you here in America, Babylon, or great? We was brought here to serve out a slave sentence, captivity sentence. We, and it's bowed up. It's bowed up, man. It's good to say, a, what? Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. You know, come out of her, my people. Come out of the ways of America. Come out of these, these, these pagan ass ways, man. And return back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So it says, The Lord is not to them that have a broken heart. And save such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashim Al Shah delivered him out of them all. You see? So the Lord delivers out of all our troubles, man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers from them all. Because we're going to be, you know, when they lock shit down here in America, for the brothers in America, you know, the sisters in America, we're going to be in it. We're going to be uncomfortable, but we're going to trust in that faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know? So the Lord going to keep us from the hour of temptation. He gonna deliver us from our temptation, you know. We are gonna pass that test with flying colors, low willing. We're part of that number of the elect. We gotta believe in this, man. So I'm in it right there, and I praise the Father through the Spirit and Papa Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I wanna give call line la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Chakudash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Most Known. Peace and salutations to let's scattered abroad, pushing His truth and sincerity. With that, I'ma say Shalom. May Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai abad babal. Babkshah, babkshah, babkshah. The water, the miyatuah.